Dr. Judy, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me here, Dr. Phil. It's an honor. Is this not exactly what he's doing? Absolutely. Alex, I wrote this book for you. And I don't believe that you're the only person who's self-sabotaging in this family. I don't want you to be the scapegoat of this family anymore. I think every single individual, as much as there is love here, is self-sabotaging. You're not only robbing Alex of his best life, you're robbing yourselves of your best life. And the reason is every time Dr. Phil asked you an insightful, pointed question, each of you went right to an excuse right to a way to explain something away. And if he doesn't have that model in his life, how is he gonna ever learn to take responsibility for himself in his life? Do you think there is a cultural gap at play here? Oh, absolutely. Roberto, I understand you. You are a hardworking father. You didn't have a father when you grew up. So you didn't have a model of how to be the best dad. And for you to have come to this place and to have to look at your sons and your daughter and your wife in the face, and try to own up to the fact that you did something wrong. I know that's hard. And Alex grew up in America, so he's looking at his friends and he's saying nobody else has this happen to them. And so he feels different, he feels isolated, he feels marginalized. And that's why you guys can't close that gap because you didn't grow up with the same kind of cultural influences. It's not an excuse for him to go out and do drugs. I didn't do him. Right. Where is his excuse? No. I don't, I don't understand. I understand. It. But Roberto, I got to tell you, every single person is different. And this is why I believe your whole family has come here. You're coming to seek expert advice from Dr. Phil to turn this around. So, what do we do about that? That's the big question. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. I don't know if the diagnosis you've been given is anywhere near correct. I don't even know if it's within a country mile of being correct. I have real suspicions about it. And we don't have a baseline on you because you haven't been drug and chemical free in a long, long time. And that needs to happen to get a baseline so we can see who you really are and how you really feel. And I've asked someone to join us here today so I want to introduce Matthew Hirsch and his associates, Jamie Salzberg and Dr. Dowd, and they're from Transformations Treatment Center. Now, this is a nationally recognized substance abuse and mental health treatment center in Florida, and they take a very individualized approach to their treatment for men and women from all backgrounds, and they deal with trauma, and I think nothing short of this level of of help is going to give you the chance to turn this around. Uh, so, Matthew, talk about this a little bit. Yeah, we're we're a uh, 30 to 90 day program in South Florida, and we uh, we specialize in individual care, and we see people um, that have family dynamics um, every day. And we we would be excited to have you come and spend some time with us, uh, spend some time with Dr. Dowd and Jamie, and, and really look at um, the family dynamic that's going on here, but also look at the past trauma. And, and Dr. Dowd, there has to be, I'm talking about getting to some baseline, we don't really know what we're dealing with until we get him uh, off of these substances and find out where he is biochemically, right? Yeah, absolutely. That, that was one of the first things I thought when the, everything was presented to me. Unfortunately, bipolar disorder and anxiety disorders and all these things get either overly or underdiagnosed in this setting. Uh, there's no real way to know, okay, is someone truly manic or not you know, depressed if they're under the influence of a substance, if they're withdrawing from a substance, and then, you know, you get all these medications thrown at you because you may be treating something that's a product of substance use. It could be a product, product of, of several different things. So getting detoxified, getting cleaned up, and really determining a baseline is exactly what you need to do because you don't know what you're treating. I think you deserve this. I want to give you a chance to put yourself in the shop, hit the reset button,